Auz billahi minash shaitan rajim bismillahir rahmanir rahim dear brothers and sisters assalamu alaikum my name is Shreep Khan and welcome to maxafter.com's another exciting tutorial this is a second part of our tutorial max after shampoo if you haven't seen the first part please i recommend that you go and first watch that one and then continue with us in this episode so this is what we will be doing Okay, some part of this is done in 3ds Studio Max. So are you guys ready? So let's start the tutorial. So this is the project where I've worked previously. And um, these are my comps, main comps. Okay, let's put um, all my comps in main comps. Com, and uh, let's go and create a new folder for you guys, which is Tuts. Right, in this one, let's create a folder called Renders. So let's go. Right, so we have created the folders. Now what we do is we just go and click the renders and then file import our animation. So this is where I've rendered it. So you must have rendered your version as well. All you need to do is just select the first one and then check this PNG sequence. So it selects all of them and make a movie and then say open. And this is here already in the renders folder. And then what we do is we just uh, import the other files. Basically we have to import three files so this is one and the second is double click here and let's import just only the last frame of this animation in this one uncheck the PNG sequence because we just need one frame so I've got, we've got our last frame here as well and double click again and then that import that hair still that we rendered previously you know so now you've got all the three files imported just select this movie and just drop it on a new comp and you've got a new comp here so the duration is uh, small we need to increase the duration of comp composition composition settings and just make it like seven seconds so that is the duration of our animation let's start this one from frame from one second let's get the hair still because we need to start you know from the still and let's go to edit and split layer and just bring it you know under the movie file and here put a keyframe press T make it zero put a keyframe and then just make it hundred yeah. so if you run right now you'll see that it's a smooth animation next thing is now we've got our this frame here the last frame you know and we just put it here and what we do is just press this one select this and and what you need to do is just fix it at the end so that you've got a still frame and the animation will run to you know will run to 10 seconds or 7 seconds or whatever right so now let's go and apply drop shadow to it and change the color to something pleasant and make it 100 and just change it to 28 or something and then control D this one again and make this one set it to 50% and let's increase it you know right so we got our cool shadows here soften it just this one to 25 or something right so we got our shadows here so press E on your keyboard and select this these two shadows shift and select it control C paste it on here still paste it here so we've got like a continuous you know shadow here so we have applied shadow to all these three layers let's go to the next step which is um, you know we want those small micro you know balls that are emitted from this hair so for that what we do is we will just duplicate this hair still control D and just bring it here somewhere from where it starts so let's start it from here and take it to the end so this is the layer from where the micro balls will be emitted so press E on your keyboard and just delete these shadows we don't need it bear with me a second you will understand what, what I'm doing here now let's go and apply CC ball action to it right this is our CC ball action and at frame press I so that we are beginning of the, of the layer and here the scatter put a keyframe for the scatter press U the keyframe is here and let's say here somewhere change this to 166 or something and grid spacing to 1 
right? So these are the balls you know, emitted. I show you which ones. Okay, this is my um, animation that I did previously. Right, so these are the balls that I'm talking about. So if you go back to our hair wire, let's make another folder here in the touch and make it comps. And bring our comp here that we just created and press enter and name it main. Yeah, this is our main comp. Press save it as well. Right, next thing what we need to do is change the color. So we go to hue, saturation, and in hue we list, drop it here, and colorize it. And just change the color to 68, 90. Also go to glow, and put a glow to it as well. So it looks nice. Right, let's change this to 20. Changes to 18. Let's go back to CC ball and make it like 130 or something so the balls they look a bit bigger so that the microbes they look a bit bigger and all. Right now, if you turn on the rest of the frames, that you'll see that so it looks okay. Here, actually, you need to increase this opacity to here some way, you know, so that we can see it emerging from the microbes, you know. And if you come here to here still, press T on your keyboard. We don't want to see it you know, after this. So press 100. When it reaches here, just turn it down to zero. So if you render this now, you'll see that we've got ourselves a cool animation. Okay, let's go and create the shampoo balls. Uh, so go to layer, new, solid, and say balls. Let's change the color to green or something. Go to CC Safair, click Safair, apply it. Radius to let's make a small radius. Press P on your keyboard, and let's say frame one is here somewhere. P and then we want it to drop here somewhere. You know, press S on your keyboard. Bring this at uh, frame zero is hundred. Press U again, and when it drops here, change the scale down to zero. And also turn on the motion blur for it. And now if you render, as you can see, you know the microbes falling down. And just go to edit, split layer, delete this. And then you can just go to light shading. And then you can just turn up the ambience a little bit, you know. So that's a bit glowy. And then control D again, bring it here, press U. And let's say select the position layers, but you have to be on the end key or the beginning key, you know, to be able to move it, you know, all together. So shift on your keyboard with the arrow, just move it here somewhere. And here, this one, you can move it up a little bit, you know, just to give it a variation. Control D. Again, the same method. Select position both of them and go here somewhere. And let's say I have to drop here from here. So now you can see. You can create another one, Control D, and press U on your keyboard. Select both of them and just move it here somewhere. And you've got to move it up. So this time it drops here. Just move it away from the other one. Just give variation to the size as well, you know. Let's say it's 120, this one. And then just, just drop it, you know. So it looks cool, you know. Control D again, just make another one if you want. Press U. Select this. Let's say this one drops here somewhere. Let's see. So it's a nice cool animation. Close all these. Let's go and create a background for it. Go to layer new solid and just name it BG. Press OK and put it here and just apply a normal ramp to it, you know. And make it radial ramp. Bring it here somewhere. 
and change this white to black and this color to something pleasant right and then go here control D again enter call this wire and then press E and delete this RAM we don't need it and then we'll just go and write grid because we need to apply grid to it you know to give it that advanced look here change this to width slider and change this to 1 right and also let's go and apply linear to it linear wipe because we don't want to see all of it you know so so the bottom one is chopped up right let's go and control D this one and apply noise to it fractal noise yeah, and change this one to add and change the basic to threads and let's go to contrast is so that you see some of the lines glowing you know and some are not evolution hold click on the evolution and just write time times 100 or something so you see just the these you know lines are glowing and they are moving you know so just select all these three and we see how it looks so as you can see these lines you know they are moving also if you want to make it more glowy just apply glow to it So you can apply a nice glow to it. So we got our main comp sorted. So now what we do is we go to project again and then just make another comp, drop it to the new comp, and just name it 002 final touts. And close this, let's move it up here so it, this is your final comp now. Right, this is your main uh, comp, control D and enter and name it border. We need to create a border around it. So for that, we'll go and select a rounded rectangular tool. Okay, and then double click it. So you got a window here, double click here and press shift alt and control all together and make it a small window here. And just move it up a little bit so that we see the hair okay and okay and also let's go and apply RAM so that we can see it right and the ramp is let's go and change the color to something like gold so let's go and control D and change this one to subtract and press MM on your keyboard so we've got a nice looking ramp here right this is your border now okay let's go and apply a bevel to it uh, bevel alpha change this to 0.7 let's change this to 1 so we got our soft bevel as well let's change this to 0.5 yeah. and also apply shadow to it drop shadow change this to 0 now let's see uh, when it comes here somewhere we want our window to come in you know so let's put keyframes here for mass expansion and just move it here you know and come back and just change these you know and press right click keyframe assistant and easy ease if you can't see it you can also apply CC sweep to it sweep around it and evolution just direction hold and click on the direction just go to time times 100 surrender you can see 
So you got a window coming in, you know, press U, go back to the first frame, we can see the window edge a little bit, so let's go and change the press MM and just change this you know, a little bit so it's, it's fine. Right, so we create our window, so what we need to do is create a watermark around it, layer new solid, just go and make it white. And bring it under it. Let's call this watermark. So let's go and double click on this layer here. We got another mask. Let's double click again, control Alt Shift and just make it smaller and just move it up, you know, adjust it. Let's change this to subtract. And put a keyframe here for press MM. Put a key from from for expansion. Go back, and then just make it bigger. Yeah, select this one. Right click, keyframe assistant. Easy, easy. If you can't see it, and then press T in your keyboard and just you know make it softer. So that's kind of watermark. Okay, we need to create a ring around the the hair. So we go back to our uh, main com border and here we will go we select the sweep here and apply it to this part and just change the color to something like yellow or something and then sweep intensity and thick edge thickness and sharp width just make it a bit orange color, you know. And let's say it's here somewhere when it starts. I'll put a keyframe for center here and press U. So when it comes here somewhere, you know, you have this point, just move it here somewhere. So in this way, we have got a nice, you know, sweep. So select all these, Control C, and put it, apply it to the next one, Control V. Press U. So we see it twice. You know, go back and press E, and again double click and change it. You know, to orange color and width. Increase the size. So now if you go back to File Tabs. Most of the stuff is done. But let's go and uh, apply the text. Go to Layer, New, Text, and just write it next after Shampoo. Yeah, and make the size bigger. Let's bring it here somewhere. Just change the color to any color that you like. And let's go and click this one. Outside line, double click it. Just make it, you know, two, and also right here for After Effects users only. Let's make it smaller. Let's change this to zero. Go and apply a shadow. Drop shadow. So it's a bit so it's legible. Springs here somewhere. And apply the zoom in or zoom out. Zoom away. So just apply zoom forward. Press U and change these keyframes. So when it comes here, we want our text to appear as well, you know, at the same time. So our text is here. Let's make it a bit smaller. So let's apply CC sweep to it as well. So put a keyframe for CC sweep. So when it's here, you want our CC sweep to move around. You know, like that. Press U. Just bring it here somewhere. Let's go and tweak the color. 
Let's make it a bit more, you know, orange so that we can see it properly. So we don't need this bit. So this control D. Effect. Just bring it down. And we can write here never works when needed. So you can change color for this. For now I'll leave it like that. And just move it here. And let's go and get our bottles. So go project again. Yeah in the touch and let's go and get the bottles. The bottles are here in the main comp con. So it's just a simple bottle. You know, you go and make a comp for it and go to composition settings. And let's say height, just make it like 350 or something because I, we need to get a reflection. So just bring this bottle into our touch here and just move it up a little bit. Control D, unchain it, minus 100. Just bring it down and we'll apply linear sweep. Just want to see the edge. Right, let's go to our file touch. The bottle is in the main accidentally, so we just go back to our file touch. Let's go and bring our bottle, you know, and put it here somewhere, size smaller. Very stylish bottle, you know. Usually used for disinfectants. Press P and move it back. Okay, turn on the motion blur for it. So this one, slow it down. Keyframe, easy ease. Yeah, let's control D. Move it forward, press U. And just make it, you know, here somewhere. So you can add as many bottles as you like. Change the color, hue saturation. So here you go. So your advert is ready. So let's render and see. So this is how the advert looks. I hope you have enjoyed the tutorial and understood what we have done here today. It's, it's a simple uh, insert for a TV commercial, you know. Uh, so I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. Once again, my name is Shweb Khan from MaxAfter.com. Assalamualaikum.